Hello, my friend, this is Clyde. And today I want us to talk about something that you would never imagine. Let's say we want to talk about Jesus is your joy in your morning. Now, have you ever stopped to seriously think why Jesus was sent from heaven to earth? Well, there is the big picture that he came so that we can have everlasting life. We can become sons of God. But I want to break it down this morning and I don't want you to hear so much my voice as I want you to hear the voice of the Bible speaking to you and speaking to me to help us to understand even more clearly why Jesus came. Let's start with one premise. He came for you. He came for me. Are we agreed on that? All right, let's go. Let's go. There is a verse in the scripture which says that weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Let us hang out there. So here is something that Jesus spoke about himself. He says that he, my father, has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for those who are in captivity and to release from darkness those who are prisoners to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, to comfort all who mourn, and to provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. Now, all of those are specific aspects of our lives that when Jesus comes into our lives, he deals with, he addresses. But I want to end this part of the reading with probably something that I consider to be my favorite. I delight greatly in the Lord my soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me or covered me in a robe of his righteousness. My friend, can I just wrap this up? Can I just wrap this up? There is a verse. John 10 and verse 10. And here's what Jesus says. It's a beautiful summary. He says, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. For many of us in our lives, there have been moments of difficulties, hardships, struggles, pain, disappointments, and all these negative things, bad news from the doctor, or marriages are struggling, um, we're not doing well professionally, finances are low, all of those things. And Jesus says, those negative things that come our way, they are brought into our lives by Satan, the thief, whose plan it is to steal, kill, and destroy. But here is the good news, my friend. Hang on to this. Jesus says, I am come that you might have abundant life. You might have an exuberant life. You might have a life that is overflowing with joy. Joy comes in the morning. I don't know about you, but I am sure glad that 
I met Jesus. No, Jesus met me. And when he met me, he brought joy into my life. Now, does that mean I am always happy? <laughs> I wish. But even in those moments when I am not happy, I am able to reflect on Jesus who lives in me and it lifts the pain and it lifts the problem and it helps me to see that Jesus is my joy in my morning. Jesus is my sunshine after a dark and bitter night. I hope you are able to speak about Jesus the way I do the way the scriptures do. Because Jesus is such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. Think about it. And if it makes sense to you, then check him out. Talk to him and ask him to become your joy after a long night. May God bless you real good.